This is 2018 Rust. Snipe him. And I just killed a guy in the safe zone. <laughs> <laughs> An exploit that took five years to fix. Night night. But not because they didn't try. And I didn't really abuse it. It was actually a feature. One which would make a lot of players angry. You're a bitch. And change the game's direction forever. Everybody was fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. Pick you up, bro. We'll pick you up. <laughs> was a little bit frightening. That's a good call, actually. Too early. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're a piece of shit. I yeah. farm fish for four days. No, no way you had a custom on him. How are you not dead? What the fuck? What are you talking about? Twenty eighteen Rust was different. There weren't mini copters or cars. Cargo ship mm. wouldn't launch for another two months, and oil rig another year. But Rust was changing from a survival exploration game to something else. The first Thursday of August was the big monthly update. This time was Bandit Camp, Rust's newest safe zone. Outpost, the game's first safe zone, was a fortified city, but Bandit was shady. I'm so stacked right now, we have to put base down if we get jumped, I'm gonna kill myself. Wipe day, we logged into the server and headed to Bandit. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. Me and the boys were always looking for new things to exploit, and Bandit's gambling wheel intrigued us. But after a few spins, it wasn't the wheel that caught our attention, but the actual safe zone. Outpost safe zones stretch the whole compound, but this one was one floor. And while Outpost security was extensive, Bandit had blind spots. Fucking do it. Standing right here, bitch. Hey, guard. How are you not dead? What the fuck? I had no idea. I had just discovered the greatest exploit in Rust history. Check that up in the air. And it was all because players didn't understand. Oh, fuck. Back in 2018, safe zones weren't really safe. A player could still pull out a gun and kill you, it just prevented looting. But even then, there were exceptions. For the three of us, it was a gold mine. Fast forward a week and we've turned Bandit into a death trap. This isn't a couple naked scrubbing loot, it's an operation. If you made it past the front door, you'd head for the recycler, but we were already there and drooling over your loot. If you used the shops, we'd kill you. If you gambled, we'd kill you. We got so good at this one, we'd listen for the jackpot sound. Then take your winnings. Have you ever wondered why windows are bulletproof? Snipe them. Bye! <laughs> yeah, we're the reason. Even if you died in the safe zone, if your body fell or was close to the edge, we'd loot you. The developers had given us a monopoly, a method of thievery that was unprecedented even in Rust. And it made us rich. But with that much loot, there were bound to be copycats, and the chaos began to spread. The biggest victims were new players. In 2018, Rust was unsure of its identity. Many of its survival elements were being reduced. The biggest controversy was the team update, which added green dots above teammates. Overnight, the jump check, a method to determine friend from foe, became history. Face Punch, Rust developer, was making its mission clear. The game was too hard for new players. In 2019, Face Punch finally took Bandit's safe zone issue seriously. They expanded the safe zone to encompass all floors, which did absolutely nothing.
At the release of Bandicamp, an item was also added to the game. While the double barrel had been crude and loud, the compound bow was... silent. At the back of the gambling boat was an industrial chute that happened to be the perfect distance from the guard's line of sight. Oh, another guy? It's <laughs> under you. Oh, my dude! No! Get a custom. No way he had a custom. Stop shooting at me! Hi. Wow. Yeah, you're a fucking ho- You piece of shit! I yes. farm fish for four days! <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, give, it, give it like a thousand, bro. Sometimes we felt bad. See, I thought you were a good guy, man, just from watching you in chat. <laughs> watching you <laughs> in chat? By this time, Rust had released the minicopter. Ellie! At Bandit, pilots would land on the roof, but this was a mistake. You gotta get on the roof. Right here? I put him out right here. Uh, can you this? Nice. I had shot the guy in the heli. Oh, got everything. This was the golden era. On wipe day, we'd run to Bandit, craft a compound bow, and wait. To us, farming loot was for suckers. In response, Face Punch did nothing, because this was intended. Bandit, unlike Outpost, was meant to be dangerous. What's you have? 565 scrap. <laughs> what? It would take a major shift in Rust development for this to change. I'm gonna throw it at him. Way too early. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was it? Yeah, oh my god, it's back. Oh, was it too early? <laughs> You're a f god. That's all I can say. Face Punch had doubled down, and Bandit's new safe zone covered the entire monument. Players inside were now invincible. Our safe zone exploit was gone, and no one wanted to play Rust. But Bandit wasn't the only reason. The game had changed. Minicopters were removed from roads, boats from shores, and put in shops. The tech tree made every item purchasable, and the drone shop made it cheap. Rust went from a chaotic wasteland to a centralized economy. A game about taking risks became about hedging bets. When everything's for sale, great adventure becomes reckless. Outpost was the real safe zone, while Bandit was dangerous. In the original dev blog, Face Punch even encouraged players to take on the guards. All these changes had been made with one thing in mind, flattening the learning curve. But in turn, it devalued knowledge. For me, I kept playing alone on build servers, designing tiny bases that could only fit me. I'll take it. Got a two by one, bro. I got two Hazzies chasing me. Uh, what happened? I don't know, man. I keep getting screwed over. Two guys coming. I don't want it. One guy. I want it. But you gotta take that DB off your back. Turns out, if you can break something once, you can do it again. No way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. 750 scrap. 750. <laughs> Welcome back to Bandit, brother. <laughs> they took our Bandit, so we took their safe zone. Uh, thanks for the loot, buddy. You're so terrible. You are so bad. 2021 saw the release of underground trains, elevators from placed at monuments, including outposts.
Jump in the loom. Jump in the loom. There's a guy above you. Get it wherever you can. Run, 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 run. Baby, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> While players in the safe zone were now invincible, there was one exception. <laughs> if a player had a combat timer, you could kill them. You didn't get any loot, but shit, we didn't care. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I'm not a part of the writing that kitchen. Eventually, Face Punch caught on. But by then, we were bored. Most of us had moved on to new games and new groups. Rust was no longer the game we first fell in love with. But somewhere out there, someone spawned on the beach for the very first time. And I'm jealous. Thank you to everyone in the Discord who made this video possible. If you want to join, click the link below and subscribe. See you there.